All right. Well, we need this today. I think this is what we need. And I'm sure it'll be a struggle. Why wouldn't it be, you know? Let's see if there's birds or flying creatures. Yes, flying creatures have started to make their home in here. But I don't see any right now. So, sure. Well, we're gonna hopefully get this going and then use it for something. So, let's find out. Will you run? I don't know. Oh yeah. Very dirty. <coughs> we might have to wash it off first. I don't know. We gave it a horse bath, and I think it'll look fine. So let's get over here, and we'll get to the project at hand right after this. All right, welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. And I'm thinking 770 on this baler. However, I forgot that I had this ball mounted in the power traction hitch. And I bet it is tightened down correctly, which is unusual because normally we would just, you know, make do. That's bigger than that, of course. So the first thing I'll do, I guess, is go get some type of tool to take that loose. I'm kind of worried that maybe these will interfere and I'll have to take them off. But we're going to try. We're not going to bail a whole field. We're just going to play. And we need to make sure that everything is actually, you know, turnable and ready to go. So let me go get something there to take that loose and then we will make this happen all right immediately i ran over the camera so that's great but let's get this thing ready to roll got it hooked up spaced out i think it'll be fine let's turn it and see what happens first turn here we go our takeoff shaft is bent. So that's nice. I bet that'll last. <coughs> All right. Well, everything turns, it appears. Step, step number two is going to be string. Now, I probably should buy some new string. However, just to get going, I'm not entirely sure that this wouldn't work if we pull out a part that isn't rotten, you know what I mean? So basically, we're gonna have to go through this deal, which just holds some tension back on it. Let's get that fit through there. <coughs> That's probably rotten and will tear. Now, me not having an Oliver Baylor, I'm not as familiar with the routing, but it's not really too difficult, you know? I just need to get this fed through there. Come on. Ooh. 
Okay, I'm gonna pause a minute here and explain something. Quiet, buddy, quiet. Let's let the tractor sit a minute. I noticed something that we're probably gonna wanna remedy before we ever start. Now, if you look at these, these are basically porcelain fence insulators, okay? However, what can happen over time, can you see that there? The string has eight grooves in this, and that is going to cause issue, or it can't cause issue, I should say, with the way the string goes through. So what I'm gonna try to do here, which is not gonna work good for me, I can see that right now. Shoot. I really wanna to try to turn those so we're not in a war, uh, war out place. You know what I'm saying? However, it's not gonna play ball. I probably need to heat that one. And maybe this is a fool's errand, you know? Well, I got that one done because I didn't have the camera pointed at it, you know? But this one, it don't wanna play nice. I wonder if the underneath ones are war as well. The other ones aren't too bad, but... Yeah, that's pretty bad. Well, this one isn't really that awful bad yet, I guess. In the grand scheme of things, that one was the worst one. Well, I think for today, or for this time, we're just going to try it. Because we know nothing about how this works yet, if it's even worth anything or not. But that is something that if you have trouble with your knotters, it can be because of stuff like that. Grooves wore in your uh, twine guides, but whatever. We're just gonna go for it. See, you don't want it to pull so hard out of there. So, if we go through here, Now we need to do the same thing to the other side. This one isn't tore, but I feel like we need to get to a better, a better place than what we are. I tell you what, it's just like <laughs> the ADD Baylor guy, because I I'm jumping all around. I don't have that uh, fed through the bottom, but we gotta get the old twine off of those knotters before we start here. But let's get this finished. <sighs> Maybe. Sure. Sure, let's, let's just, yeah. That's what we want. Then we will tie it off to this bar. Or at least that's the way I've always done it. Alright. We need to back that off a little bit, but I think we're good there. Alright. Twine off of the bill hooks. That's the next step. All right, GoPro too hot. Let's get this twine off of here. 
on my other baler you can kind of flip that up and it'll stay which this one is not doing there, there it goes <coughs> and then you should be able to do this and it flips closed we can't really see with it now until we have problems with it but as long as our twine arm rakes the bill hook we should be good let's get this crappy twine off of there and do this come on go back down now there well we should be ready to start it up and trip this and make it uh, it's going to catch the twine in these twine discs so that it's ready to make a bale <coughs> this is going to happen fast but you'll see the needles come up here and put the twine in now it's ready to go I'll be curious to see how long that lasts. All right, so now you can see, see how our string is waiting. And then as it fills with hay, it'll push against there. And that will be the back side of your twine. <coughs> and then when you're done, the needles will come up and tie a knot and pull down. At the same time they tie the knot and that bale is done, then it leaves the string up here for the next bale to go again. And that's how it goes. So, sure. We need to find us a bolt for this chute as it is missing one. So if we get that, then I think the only thing we're left to do is grease it and then probably find us some better twine, whether I go buy some more or rob some out of my other baler i don't know i probably should just rob some out of the other baler so i use it up but we'll see probably should read the book to learn all the places to grease but we won't you know we'll just struggle and see what happens don't see there's some there Probably be easier to get to from the other side, maybe? I don't know. Not really easy to get to. I can get to this one. <coughs> sure. There should be Is there one in there. No. sure let's make a mess you gotta grease them but you can't over grease them and then they don't work very good but I just wonder how often these have been greased you know everything needs to turn freely they're taking which is not good <coughs> oh. shoot Okay. 
All right. I think we hit the highlights here. All right. I think that's good enough for who it's for. If I was going to bale 100 acres with it, I'd probably be more particular. But I think I'm going to run it again and spray some lube on these chains, and then we're going to call it good. Because, yeah, I mean, I think we're okay. to go there you can see that roto flow feeder all right so i think we're in as good a shape as we can be to take it out and play with it here in a few days so hopefully we have some success and you'll get to see some videos of an oliver baylor so that's pretty neat it's only taken me years and years to come across one, but here it is. So, yeah, I guess that's where we'll leave this one. And hopefully the next time you see it, it'll be pumping out the idiot bricks. So we'll see what happens. Do you enjoy seeing a basic white man in his middle 30s struggling at life? If so, hit that thumbs up and leave us a comment because all of that stuff is supposed to help us out and grow the channel and we can keep making more stuff like what you just saw. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.